Fish, nice cutty, nice cutty, nice cutty. Oh, he's under the log. He's in the logs. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Did you see that fish? All right, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Addicted Life. I'm on a solo mission today. I thought I'd do a little creek hiking. It's been a while since I've done this. You know, I used to do it a lot as a kid. First cast into a nice little bucket, and I hook a super nice cutthroat on the old ultralight and lose him, but that's all right. We're just getting started. We're just starting to walk up this creek. Wish us the best, wish us luck. Thanks again for tuning in. We appreciate all you subscribers out there and hopefully you guys like these little addicted lives that we're putting out every single Sunday. And don't forget, every Sunday, 6.30 p.m., we're putting out an episode where we're just adventuring around the United States and hopefully someday the world. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're liking our videos, smash the thumbs up. Let's go catch some fish. All right, everyone, so we're gonna start basically working our way up this creek, and we're just gonna be fishing a lot of pocket water like this, and then we're gonna kind of be hiking up the creek and looking for big holes or nice holes. There's some really nice cutthroat in here. There's also a chance at a steelhead maybe, so you never know when your bobber goes down. I'm gonna be fishing some worms, fishing some micro worms, some jigs. We're gonna be playing around, but right now what I'm doing is just kind of working this cast master through a lot of this pocket water. So let's see if we can find another one. Oh, you see that one come up and nail it? Oh, damn near a top water bite. Did you see that? A lot of hungry fish in here, boys. A lot of them. Oh, you see that, Sean? Guys, we're getting some fish to just attack in this tail out. Water, dude, watch this. We're gonna get one to go on top water here, guys. Watch this crap. There's so many of them in there. Oh, that was a big one. Damn it, I missed him. Oh, damn it. Got him. Oh, let's see what they are. Oh, it looks like a looks like a beautiful cutty. Wet my hands a little bit here, guys. Oh yeah, beautiful wild cutthroat. There we go, folks. Look at that beauty. Just a little guy. There is a pile of them in there. There's some good ones too. All right, addicts. So what I had to do was go back to the truck because I forgot this box. Before we had left, I had gotten a little box of spinners together, threw some flies in there, and literally left it in the truck. And so I had to hike a half a mile back or about a mile, get the old spinner box, or dialed, and uh, these cut there don't stand a chance. All right, addicts, back from the truck. I'm gonna switch to some 12 pound test because there's some steelhead in this river, in this creek, and the last thing I want to do is hook onto a steelhead with six pound leader and break him off. So I'm going to go to some 12 pound test here. Just do a little double uni knot action. And then we're going to put a spinner on here because I think spinner is going to be the ticket in this water that we're fishing. So let's get it done and wish me luck. Red and silver Panther Martin. We chopped the hooks off so it only has one hook instead of a treble. Again, that's not the right way to do it. Honestly, if, if you were doing it right, what you would do is at home, you would cut it off and you'd put an open eye side wash on there. But I'm fishing ghetto here. It is what it is. All right, let's see what we can find, boys. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I want one of those big ones. Oh, I saw one chasing it. Oh, oh, little guys on the move. There's some big ones over there. Those are the ones I want. Come on. Oh, oh, little ones were on it. So now I'm gonna go to this yellow and silver Panther Martin. I'm gonna cut these hooks off here. So there's only one hook on there. Hey guys, I'm not afraid. If, 
if I got to go back to the cast master, I'll go back to the cast master. And what's, I did get a little bit smaller one right here as well. So I can go to that little bit smaller cast master. I do need to put a split ring on it, but I got a smaller cast master in there as well because that one I was using was pretty big. But I'm hoping it was just a silver and gold thing here. Maybe they'll want the yellow little torpedo bodied Panther Martin better. Oh yeah, they're on it. Oh yeah, got him, got him. Oh, are you kidding me? No! Ah. Uh, okay guys, so we just learned something there. That is how important it is, silver and gold. I mean, literally, that was the only difference. Pretty much the same, the same spinner, same thing. I mean, damn near identical. The only difference is the blade color silver. And that big old trout right there came out Hit this yellow bladed one, silver here. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, <gasps> did you see that one? Oh my God, Sean, that was a freaking, that was a big one, dude. See the ones coming up out of the tail? All right, let's go. I feel like we got some steelhead up river. I think we got, we found the spinner that they want. Big ones and small ones are chasing it. I got my nightmare worm on for steelhead potentially. We're also gonna be showing you guys today, we're gonna be filming a tutorial about micro worms. So I'm gonna rig up some micro worms when we get up into some of these other holes and hopefully show you guys some of those little tricks as well. Let's go get And he's like, oh, oh, I was literally just saying, maybe they're not in these little runs like this. One just came out of nowhere. Oh, oh my God, Sean, a steelhead just came up and absolutely crushed this spinner. Are you? Micro worm, let's try it. Got him. Oh, that's a nice trout. On the micro worm. Oh, you. Oh, I sound like a baby right now, but why am I losing? Did you see that trout, Sean? That was a freaking nice trout. So, what I did there, Addicts, was I downsized everything. I went to a lot smaller leader. This is a 10 pound fluorocarbon. This is one of our new mini floats that we've been testing. So we're, we're gonna come out with a few different sizes of floats. So I went to a little bit more of a micro size float. We're gonna be trying to get this out in the market soon. It's gonna be for panfish, small trout, stuff like that. And then I went to a micro worm. So this is a 64 ounce worm and uh, first cast through there, he took it. I didn't know that was a fish, I thought it was bottom. Oh, jumper cutthroat. Oh, he's a ripper. He's a ripper, this is a good one guys. This is a really good one. Let's get him up here. What do we got here? Oh, that looks like a steelhead smolt. Yeah, that's a steelhead smolt. I think, hold on. Let's get a good look at it here. It's either a steelhead smolt or just a cutthroat that's not. Oh, look at its tail. Something nipped at him or something. So this water's super clear, Attics. There's a lot of visibility, and so it's really important that we try to be stealthy with these fish and not walk up on the holes, which is why I'm down on my knees fishing it here, just to be a little bit more stealth. I'm sure there's multiple fish in here. There could be trout, there could be cutthroat, there could be a steelhead, never know. Got him. 
in the current. Another little guy. Another little cutty, it looks like. Oh, look at the red on him. Look at his gill plate right there. Pop him loose here. See you later, dude. No, it's bottom. Oh, it was a fish. Oh, good one. Really nice one, guys. Oh, he's fighting so good. Oh, what a pretty fish. After grinding literally all day, yes, addicts, I fished from morning until dark yesterday and literally did not find a fish. And I was like, you know what? Tomorrow I'm gonna go catch a bunch of trout. I need to get it out of my system. Exactly what we're doing. Look at that guy. Look at the colors on him, dude. Skinny, but look at the spotting on his fin and stuff. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> Love these fish, man. Love these fish. All right, everyone, sorry to have a quick little interruption of your content here, but we gotta give a huge shout out to one of our partners, Stevens Marine. We're standing down here with Nelson at one of the Stevens Marine locations, and we thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys the adventure. This is a, a boat that you guys have had out for how long now? Uh, three years on the 20-footer, and then we just came out with the 18-footer in the last two years. So we basically have an 18 and a 20-footer in the venture, and it's basically, you guys know we talk about the Lumawa Columbia's. It's our boat that I'm gonna get, and we're gonna do some unveilings in future content videos, but it's a scaled down version of that right exactly so I mean, when you're talking about the columbia you know the, the boat the marlin's getting the boat the cameron has i mean you're talking about a full scale 21 to 25 to 27 foot guide boat and I are mean, they wider or columbia yeah, is wider than a little bit wider yeah. you know they're gonna have an 82 inch bottom you know we had a lot of ask for something like the adventure which is you know basically just a scaled down version of the columbia um, it's not as big so it's going to get you into a nicer price range you know um, 30 to 45 grand for an 18 or a 20 all set up to get out there so show everything. people have come in here and just kind of talk about like what the specs are what's the width you know what the models are what you typically like to run for motors yeah tell people kind of what they could get if they're interested in an adventure yeah so i think one thing that you that people notice when they walk right up to it is it's got tall sides on it, uh, 32 inch tall sides, uh, taller than a lot of 18 foot sleds. And so people look at it and sitting on the trailer especially, it looks much bigger than 18 feet. Um, same thing with the 20, you're out there and people are like, is that 22, how big is that? Because it's a nice deep, uh, deep V boat that lends itself of course to being drier and, and riding a little bit better out there on the big water. Um, they're gonna come standard with hot water sinks, wash down pumps, uh, things that are upgrades in a lot of other boats. Um, so they're pretty much ready to go. And they come from the factory outfitted with those things. So we just designed the boat to have those things included in the base price. If you're wanting to have a boat for this summer, if you're wanting to have a boat for this fall, definitely spring. You know, we do have some show season pricing going on now, even though we haven't had shows. Definitely get in here, take advantage of the pricing, and that'll be your best bet to get a boat to use for spring, summer, fall um, in 2021. So. Cool, makes a lot of sense. Well, huge shout out to Stevens Green, one of our partners. They support us, so you guys should get out here and support them if you can. Back to the content. All right, addicts, it's been an amazing day so far. We're kind of working our way up the creek, just crossing back and forth. Found some super nice cutthroat so far. Looking for a steelhead, I got my red pearl worm on. 
hoping and praying I find a magical steelhead, but I'm not I'm not getting too worried about it because if it if I catch one it's just a bonus because at the end of the day these cutthroat trout are just as fun I switched my setup to my ultralight rod my little micro worm on my ultralight rod so I'm hoping hoping I'm gonna find a nice big fat cutthroat on the micro worm oh there could easily be a steelhead sitting right there Easily. Steelhead! No, it's just a really big cutthroat. Oh my, I just lost him. Dude, that was a 20 inch cutthroat. Oh, that sucks, dude. I'm so sad. That was a giant. Beautiful cutthroat. There she is. Just a beaut. Oh yeah. Just cutthroat freaking bait there. It's another little guy, but that's all right. I love it. Let's get him in here and let him go. Another just beautiful cutthroat. Nice one back in that corner. That's a freaking cutthroat, guys. Look at the head on that thing. I mean, that's 14 inches all day long, maybe even bigger. Look at his beautiful. Red strip there. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Oh, that was fun on the little ultralight trout rod, guys. What a great day it's been. You know, I was, I've been looking for some steelhead, trying to get a steelhead, but fish like that, it don't matter if I catch a steelhead or not. I just love being out here watching my bobber dream. Oh, super nice one, super nice one. Oh my God, please don't come off. Oh my God, I can't even get it in. Super nice fish, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful freaking fish. Wow, look at that. They don't get any prettier, guys. Look at that, I mean, that's freaking, what is that, 14, 16 inches? All day, I mean, that is a freaking stud. Look at this guy. Oh, that's a nice one, guys. All right, guys, let's let this guy go. See you later, buddy. Thanks for the fight. What a pretty damn fish, dude. Holy crap. Come on, dude. Whoa. He's gone. What's crazy is that's not the biggest one we've hooked today. We caught, we hooked an even bigger cutthroat that I lost that was a, just a freaking giant. But that's all right. It's getting dark. We're running out of daylight. 4.30, gotta make it count.
Oh, look at this fatty. He's got some girth. Oh, that's a solid one. Look at that guy. Right in the corner of his mouth. Oh, look at that. Barbel slip came out there super easy. Look at that freaking thing. Well, thanks so much, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me on that little adventure. It kind of made me feel like a kid again, watching those little floats drain. And damn, we actually caught some really, really nice cutthroats. That one I lost, I swear, was... I mean, you know what they always say. It's, it's a fish story. But comment below. Let me know how big you think it was. Hopefully, you can see it in my GoPro when I was... Um, when I was bringing it in, but I bet it was 24 inches. Literally, it was it was a solid, solid cutthroat. So, can't complain. Fun day of fishing, fun day of watching floats drain. As always, we appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't forget, please do us a huge favor. It helps us on YouTube. Smash that thumbs up button. Thanks again for watching. If you guys want an opportunity to be comment of the day, just drop some comments below, interact with the video. Here's today's comment of the day. And if you wanna watch some more content, watch this video right here. And if you're brand new to the channel, subscribe. We'll see you on the river.